Streams in the Desert, Volume 1, by Elizabeth Kalman. October 28. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. And hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2 4 6. This is our rightful place, to be seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and to sit still there. But how few there are who make it their actual experience. How few, indeed, think even that it is possible for them to sit still in these heavenly places, in the everyday life of a world so full of turmoil as this. We may believe perhaps that to pay a little visit to these heavenly places on Sundays, or now and then in times of spiritual exaltation, may be within the range of possibility, but to be actually seated there every day and all day long is altogether another matter, and yet it is very plain that it is for Sundays and weekdays as well. A quiet spirit is of inestimable value in carrying on outward activities, and nothing so hinders the working of the hidden spiritual forces, upon which, after all, our success in everything really depends, as a spirit of unrest and anxiety. There is immense power in stillness. A great saint once said, things come to him who knows how to trust and be silent. The words are pregnant with meaning. A knowledge of this fact would immensely change our ways of working. Instead of restless struggles, we would sit down inwardly before the Lord and would let the divine forces of his spirit work out in silence the ends to which we aspire. You may not see or feel the operations of this silent force, but be assured it is always working mightily, and will work for you, if you only get your spirit still enough to be carried along by the currents of its power. Hannah Whittall Smith There is a point of rest. At the great center of the cyclone's force, a silence at its secret source, a little child might slumber undisturbed, without the ruffle of one fair curl. In that strange, central calm, amid the mighty whirl. It is your business to learn to be peaceful and safe in God in every situation.